Hi everyone, welcome to part one of our lecture series on graph theory. This first video will serve as an introduction to graph theory and the topic of Euler circuits. So what do you think? Can you do these? Which graphs can you trace the entire figure exactly once without lifting your pencil from the graph and also start and end at the same point? Make and test some conjectures or guesses on why you can trace some and not others. Let me give you an idea of how this works. So here we are in paint. And remember our goal is to trace around every edge of a graph exactly once and start and stop at the same point. So for example, in five, it's not too hard to do. If I start up, I can sort of work my way around this graph covering every edge exactly once and starting and stopping at the same point. So this one is doable. The first one on the other hand, hmm, let's see. So I can go down and around, work my way all around the outside. And now I'm back to where I started but I've missed these two edges in the middle, right? So maybe we think, well, maybe I just should try going in a different direction, right? Maybe I should try taking care of those edges in the middle first. So I can certainly do that. But then again, I end up being stuck, right? I'm not gonna be able to get every edge in the graph exactly once and start and stop at the same point. So it looks like graph one is not possible. What about graph four? So I can kind of work my way down, back up, down, and back up. So good, it looks like graph four is going to work. So try some more of these and see what you think. Which ones are gonna work? And for which ones, like in graph three, uh-oh, I'm stuck. Right? There's no way I'm going to be able to do the one in graph three. So what is different, right? What is different about graphs four and five that make this possible for those graphs that, uh, that makes it not possible in graphs one and three? Hmm. What do you think? Let's go back to our slide. So we're going to start with what's called the parking control officer problem, and it goes like this. So the officer's job is to check parking meters, and our goal is to find the most efficient route for the parking control officer to walk as they check the parking meters. So what do we need? Well, the officer must cover all of the sidewalks without retracing any more steps than necessary, and they should end at the same point at which they began. Now, why are these desirable goals? Well, we want our officer to cover all of the sidewalks because every single meter must be checked. And we don't want the officer to have to retrace steps if possible because we want the officer to be as efficient as possible. And finally, we're gonna wanna end at the same point at which they began because, well, they parked their car somewhere and they wanna get home. So hopefully these seem like reasonable goals. So what do you think? Can we find a route which starts and ends at the top left-hand corner of the left-hand block here that's going to cover all of the sidewalks exactly once and will start and end at the same point? Well, to answer this question, we're going to use graph theory. But first, we need some definitions and terminology. So a graph or a network is a collection of objects called vertices together with the relation between the objects. So for objects X and Y, either X is related to Y, in which case we say there's an edge from X to Y, or X is not related to Y, in which case there is no edge connecting them. So looking at the graph on the left, our vertices are these circles or these dots. So there's a vertex A, vertex B, vertex C, so on and so forth. In total, this particular graph has 10 vertices. And then the edges are the lines connecting the vertices. So there's an edge connecting vertex A with vertex B. And there's an edge connecting vertex B with vertex C. Now, if you count all of the edges in this graph, you'll see that there are 16 of them. 
Remember, an edge represents some sort of relationship. So the fact that there's an edge connecting A with B just simply means that A has some sort of relationship to B. Whatever this relationship is, it does not hold between A and G since there is no edge connecting A to G. On the graph on the right, we see that our vertices represent people. So perhaps the edges between them represent that these are individuals who know each other. Or maybe they are individuals who get along or individuals who happen to be taking the same course. So there's lots of things that these edges can denote, but they just give us a relationship between the vertices. So a graph is just a finite set of dots and connecting links. The dots are called vertices, with a single dot being called a vertex, and the links are called edges. And each edge must connect to different vertices. Now a graph, as we said, can represent our city map, a communications network, a system of air routes, or electrical power lines, pretty much anything. A couple more definitions. A path is a connected sequence of edges showing a route on the graph that starts at a vertex. A path is usually described by naming in turn the vertices visited and traversing it. And a path that starts and ends at the same vertex is called a circuit. Here's an example. In this graph, our vertices represent cities, New York, London, Berlin, Rome, and Miami. And we're not explicitly told what the edges represent, so we're going to pretend that the edges represent nonstop airline routes between these cities. So the graph tells us that there is a nonstop airline route from New York to London because there's an edge connecting those two vertices. However, there is not a nonstop airline route from New York to Berlin since there is no single edge connecting New York to Berlin. Let's list a few of the paths from New York to Rome. One is New York, Miami, Rome. Another, New York, London, Berlin, Rome. Some others, New York, London, Rome, New York, Miami, London, Rome, so on and so forth. What about circuits? Circuits, remember, are simply paths that start and end at the same vertex. So an example of a circuit for this graph would be Miami, Rome, London, Miami. Another, Rome, London, New York, Miami, Rome. So these are circuits. They're paths that start and stop at the same vertex. Well, let's go back to our parking control officer problem. Remember our goals. We want to cover all of the sidewalks without retracing any more steps than necessary. And our officer should end at the same point at which he began. So what do you think? Can we find a route which starts and ends at this top left-hand corner of the left-hand block? We're going to answer this question using graph theory, so we need to make a graph out of our street network. To draw the graph, we start with our basic street network, and I want to point out here we're interested in our officer walking along sidewalks. The sidewalks are represented in this picture by these white edges. So the only sidewalks that our officer is going to walk along in this picture are these two rectangles that we see kind of toward the top of our picture. Okay, so we're going to replace each corner of our graph with a vertex and then replace each row of parking meters or each sidewalk with an edge. So here are the ones on the outside of our network. Those are easy enough to see. I purposely left these blank temporarily because I want to point out that here in the middle, our officer has two sidewalks that he or she needs to walk along. So we're going to need two edges representing the two sidewalks in the middle. All right, so there is the graph that represents our street network. And the question is, can this graph be traversed without lifting the pencil from the paper? and without retracing edges. So what we actually are trying to find is something called an Euler circuit. So an Euler circuit is a circuit that covers each edge of a graph once, but not more than once. So the fact that it's a circuit 
means that it must start and stop at the same vertex. And to be an Euler circuit, we want to cover every edge exactly once. Let's make our graph a little bit bigger. So what do you think? If you start here at vertex A, is it possible to walk along every edge of this graph exactly once and end back where we started at A? See if you can find one. Well, here's one solution. So one thing our officer could do is to walk all along the top, come down, back to the middle, take care of those two sidewalks in the middle, back to the left, and back up to where we started. So here is an answer, not the only answer, certainly there are many answers, but this is just one solution. So we see that for this particular street network, it is possible. All right, this is all for our introduction to graph theory. In our next video, we're gonna spend a lot more time on Euler circuits. And in particular, we're going to answer the question, how do we tell whether a graph has an Euler circuit? I'll see you then. Thanks, guys.